Hi dear students, how are you? I think you are quite well. Today, I will discuss a topic from English first word for ASSC students. ASSC first year. The students will know uh, you have to answer you know on a short syllabus which has been instructed by the education board and you have to participate in the board exam on a short on a short syllabus today i will discuss with you uh, from english first paper process with rules and without rules this is an important topic you know there are two items on vocabulary test first one with rules and second one without rules you know in your short syllabus uh, you have to answer these two items uh, vocabulary test or process with rules and without rules of course in this case uh, when you will go to uh, fill up the gaps and the uh, passages or any paragraph uh, with some gaps you have to uh, use different types of word formations in your gaps and uh, you have to uh, know the rules of different grammatical items uh, to complete the gaps uh, perfectly and uh, correctly so in this case you have to uh, know some rules of it, you can say and some uh, systems uh, you have to follow of course uh, today i will discuss with you how to uh, fill up the gaps how to fill up uh, gaps with rules of the rules so at first i can give you an example with an example okay you can say kuakat kua kata kua kata is is a dash scenic scenic spot scenic spot of Bangladesh Bangladesh in this sentence there is a gap of course so in this gap what parts of the speech you can use that one is hands for the ties are dash scenic spot okay here is a gap between article and adjective of course so when you will get an to get a gap before an entity in most cases you have to use an adverb of course so what is our text series for of Bangladesh here you can use is a naturally Before an adjective, if there is a gap, you have to use, of course, adverb. Quakata is a naturally scenic spot of Bangladesh. Naturally is an adverb which modifies the adjective scenic. Okay, this is a rule we can say. Well, we can give another example here. Number B. The 
Pibula. The people of our country. The people of our country are there. Bias. In the modest of life. So as a gap between Mark and the city, that means here bias bias is an adjective of course, so before an adjective you have to use an adverb of course. The people of Morgan are very really pious, you can use their very, very pious, you can also use highly, highly, greatly, very highly, greatly, etc. are ever here, you can use an adverb to remodify the uh, adjective so in this gap we can use an adverb of course so this rule indicates that this rule indicates that you have to use adjective uh, you have to use an adverb before any adjective of course so in these two cases naturally and very highly or greatly is of course they, these words are of course and parts. Okay. Next rule. Another example. Now we can use another example, another rule of course. Here. Number C. The article then we have next of environment environment pollution environment pollution There's a environment pollution is very, very acute. Is a gap, of course. When a gap is settled between article and preposition, between article and preposition, mind it. When any gap is settled between an article and a preposition, in this case, you have to use a noun or noun. You have to use here noun, noun form of words. Whatever you we use, you have to use of course noun form. The word will be noun form. So when the gap is settled between article and preposition, you have to use noun forms. What noun can be used here? The dash of a normal position is very Acute in the life of city dwellers. Okay, what can we use here? The article and preposition. If an article and preposition have to use now the impact. We can use here word impact. It's a noun, of course. This
this word is an is a noun impact influence you can use influence here of course impact influence and effect also can be used here effect effect these three nouns can be used here so many others can be used also impact influence or effect these three words are of course noun so we have to use in this verb a noun of course now okay what you have learned here from what have you learned from this rule this rule indicates that you have to use a noun form of every word between article and preposition of course The freedom fighters, the freedom fighters, another one of us, the freedom fighters of our country, the freedom fighters of our country are. Then we have on our on our by us. Sorry, by us. Okay, in this sentence. The film letters of our country is the subject of the sentence. Then I have used an auxiliary verb. Uh, then I put the get. Then I have used principal verb on earth by us by the subject. Okay. What can be used in this case? This is a this is an important rule, of course. The students go in. You will get a gap between auxiliary verb and principal verb. Remember it. When you will get a gap between an auxiliary verb and a principal verb, you have to be used in this set case and verb. What will you use? We will we will use of course an and verb in this gap. When the gap is between two verbs, one is auxiliary and another is principal verb. Okay, so the frequent writers of our country are dash and dash. There is there is the gap. Okay, are we can use here? I will put the gap here. Okay, the gap is here. Okay, or uh, I can use an verb greatly 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 or deeply. Okay. So in this case. We can use an adverb, of course, between auxiliary verb and principal verb. Of course, we have to use an adverb. Okay, next one. Next one. The. Students, the students of our country, 
the students of our country the students of our country are there then and by corona corona pandemic corona pandemic okay in this sentence the students of our country the subject and the object are then the principal verb and part by corona virus or corona pandemic this is the object so in this case you have to use and of course the stores of cancer greatly here can be used greatly or you can use also highly highly greatly or highly hampered by corona pandemic okay we have to use also that you can use the and at part we can also have a principal purpose
so dear students i hope you will be somewhat benefited from this discussion and i hope i will discuss some more rules in my next class on this topic so i want to say goodbye thank you